Hello everybody, Tom Bruce here from Big Sky Internet Design and today we're going to be talking about even more tips for horse associations and their websites. This is a end of the three-part series. Last week we talked about the organization, how important that was for websites initially when they're new and how that's going to translate 10 years down the road where organization is key for that. Today we're going to talk more about some of the technical things behind the scenes and see these are some of the things that can be overlooked initially but then can cause pain points for your members down the road. So first off is fancy effects and like I said just say no to that. You know there used to be really cool, we used to do a lot of that actually, but what happens is particularly for people who visit your website over and over it just becomes annoying and aggravating and it also has a tendency to slow down your, your website just because the amount of code that has to be added in to make those effects happen. So the key there, keep it simple. And as we we're talking about fast pa page loading, a lot of the free website builders such as Wix or GoDaddy, there's a no, number of them out there, WordPress uh, is another uh, platform, those have a tendency to be fairly slow websites because the amount of code that has to get loaded every time a page changes. And we prefer to build, our websites are very simple, only behind the scenes, only, only load what has to be loaded. You know, those types of websites with all that code that gets loaded, have a tendency to be less reliable as well because all it takes is a missing quotation mark or semicolon in the wrong spot and it'll break the entire site. Crazy, but it's true. And the bottom line is simplicity equals speed and reliability. Now let's talk about ease of maintenance. It's very, very important that your horse association website is maintained and up to date timely. And so how easy is it to do that? Well, going back to those free website builders or WordPress, those are often pretty complicated to take care of and often are very intimidating to novice users, which often is the case for uh, website administrators for clubs. It's usually a member who offers to do it. And it just gets very difficult because there are so many options, which of course is what makes, which makes those platforms so strong, but it also makes them way more complicated than they typically need to be. So here's a fun fact, you know, back, we've been doing this since 1998, building websites, and initially we were, did all of our website updates for all of our customers by opening them up and getting in our into the HTML code and making changes that way. Well, we found that that was getting very time consuming, so we needed to come up with a better way to do it. So we came up with our own platform, if you want to call it that, that we has evolved over the years and has become very powerful, but it's still very simple. It's really just a matter of data entry on almost all of our websites. And so that has a really good twofold purpose. One is it allows us to update our customer sites very quickly because it's quite simple to do. Or if they want to update their websites themselves, they can do it because, again, it's quite easy and very simple and, and very uh, easy to do. So after 20 years of working, over 20 years of working on websites for horse associations and horse folks and all sorts of agricultural related websites. It's kind of like going back to my friend, the farmer's insurance guy. We know a thing or two because we have seen a thing or two, and that is absolutely the case. Well, I hope you enjoyed these uh, tips for the uh, your horse association websites, horse clubs, and hopefully you gained something out of them. And if we can ever be of assistance, please don't hesitate to call me Tom Bruce. I'm the owner. We'll talk to you soon.